Hello Internet, welcome to my workbench, or my table anyway. Um, I would like to talk to you today about uh, 3D printers. Um, sorry, I'm not, uh, I don't, all you, all you can see is my, my uh, hands from behind the camera, kind of creepily. Um, recently I've uh, delved into the kind of dark arts of 3D printers, if you will. And uh, I'd like to kind of share some of my uh, experiences. Um, ignore the gross keyboard <clears throat> in the background. If you can hear fizzing, that's my delicious ginger ale in the background. Um, so one of the first things that I, I kind of ran into was obviously the price, um, as does everybody in situations like this. Uh, 3D printers can be pretty expensive. Uh, the kits especially you know, range in price from like three to four to five or six or more hundred dollars. And uh, I figured I could do at least some of it a little bit cheaper. Um, one of the first things that I started with um, for no particular reason was the heat bed now, or the heated bed, heat bed, heated bed, whatever. So um, you can see it's actually mounted on that. Well, it's not permanently mounted, but it's, it's mounted and it's wired up right now. Um, but I'll just, I'll deal with that. So, actually I'll just, I'll just do this. So this is a little janky right now, uh, the mounting method. I haven't, um, haven't quite perfected it yet, but, uh, but that's fine. So this is a, um, an aluminum uh, print bed from robotdig.com. Uh, D-I-G-G. -G. Um, it doesn't actually say that on there. Um, it has the the usual markings of, of a, you know, a, a typical heat bed. Um, oops. The interesting thing here is that you can see, let's see if I can actually do this here. Holy cow, that actually works. So, PC Heat Bed Mark III ALU Heat Bed Dual Power. Um, and you can see they have the normal directions for how to how to rig it up. Uh, up here, you know, uh, so number one, one, two, and three, but it's like they don't, they didn't, they didn't label what the pins were, so I had to look on the internet to find it. So I printed this out for the case of just showing you. Um, I could probably put a link to this. This is the RepRap uh, wiki page for the Mark II heat bed, and if you'll notice. Uh, similar, the similarities here, uh, power, blah, 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 you can see, same chart there, uh, the, the pins down here and how they work here, so this is how I figured out what, uh, what goes where and how, however, this is for Mark II, that says Mark III, um, this bed was $12 from Robot Dig, um, I also got... Oops. I also got some limit switches um, as well. I think these were like $2 a piece or something like that. Super cheap stuff. It's obviously from China. Um, it took 30, 32 days to ship it here. Um, I live in the, I live in Wisconsin. Um, I'm not, I mean, I'm sort of close to Chicago, but it's, you know, I'm not close enough to a major city where it would make a difference, but yeah, 32 days to ship it. So keep that in mind. Um, now, I thought that was a great deal because all of the other Mark III heat beds are, you know, like $20 or so uh, online. And I thought I was getting a great deal. Well, come to find out, it's maybe not as good of a deal as what I thought. Um, I haven't actually tested this because I forgot to get a thermistor uh, for the middle. Um, you could see it, I think, on the other side. Let me take this off again. So you can see there's a, uh, a hole in the middle. There's a hole in the middle, middle for the thermistor. Um, I don't know what this black crap is. Um, I tried to scrub at it with like a, a Scotch-Brite pad, but it didn't, didn't come off. So, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure. I don't even know if it works, to be honest with you. Um, but we shall see. Technically speaking, uh, you don't have to use like a glass plate. That is sort of one of the reasons why I didn't want to do the, uh, didn't want to go the typical route. 
um, is I didn't want to deal with glass and, and all that nonsense. I just wanted the, the heated part and the print bed to be one piece. Um, you know, I guess you can make up that, you can make up your own mind, I suppose, but, uh, let's see if there's anything. Ah, uh, well, the tracking code is on here, but that's fine. So this is my order. I don't think there's any, like, sensitive info. There's a tracking number on there, but that isn't really that great. Um, so $12 for the bed and $1.80 for each of the limit switches. Um, and then um, 12 to, So basically, it was just as much to ship the thing. It was $12 for freight. Um, you know, it was, it was just as much to ship it as it was for the, for the heat bed, so, but that's, that's fine. Um, so I guess this was sort of the first, the first step, uh, the first, uh, thing that I've run into. Um, so I just wanted to share that. I, I, you know, I will post future videos, but, you know, for now I have no idea if this thing even works. So, um, I guess we'll find out. Um, but... Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe, uh, let me know what you think. I will be making more videos like this in the future, so hopefully they will uh, they'll benefit somebody. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next episode.